On a sunny but cold April morning, I took the trail that goes between the vernal pools and leads through a very special grove of American chestnut trees that I planted, and they are the children of the Miracle Sisters chestnut tree. I came to remove the covering that I had placed on it to protect it from the frost that had hit overnight. It needed protection from that frost because here it was in April already producing leaves. This is very unusual here in Long Point, but this is a baby that really wants to grow. It's full of life. Of the other trees in the grove, this is the one that was most developed at the same time. As you can see, the leaves are only beginning to emerge from the buds. It's well behind. And this is the state of development of the fastest growing chestnut seen in a video that I made earlier in the series. This one grew at such a remarkable pace. In fact, it's still the fastest growing of them all here in the forest. And this is one of the babies from this year's batch. It's still inside because they need protection from the elements. They're still too fragile to go outside. But, as you can see, we have new buds so that another round of growth is about to happen. This will get much larger before it goes outside. It is very gratifying to see this burst of energy, this rush to growth from one of last year's babies, out here among the spring ephemerals. And now we fast forward a little over a week, when on today's bike ride, I noticed at a wood lot about a mile or so as the crow flies from my place, that there were a couple of chestnut trees here, American chestnuts, that have these blue bands around them. This is a wood lot that's preparing to be cut, and the ones that have blue bands around them are not to be cut. So I got off the bike to take a closer look at these American chestnut trees. Well, unfortunately, they're not in good health. This is the larger of the two, and we can see that there are all kinds of suckers coming out, and they are already very badly infected with the blight and succumbing to it. And it's not a good sign when we see the new leaves on the suckers are yellow. That is just not good at all. There is not a bright and promising future here. Not that there would be from anything that's blight infected, but this is pretty much hopeless. When we look at the Miracle Sisters chestnut, on the other hand, which is actually much larger and much older, we don't see any of these suckers coming out, and we only see beautiful bark that has not burst, exploded, or any of these other horrible side effects, such as far above on the street side one, we can see that the bark has burst right at that level of the first major branch, about maybe 15 feet up from the ground. But by comparison, when we look at the Miracle Sisters, at this branch that's about 30 or 40 feet up, we can see nothing but a beautiful, healthy, perfect skin, beautiful bark, no problems. Back at the roadside chestnut, we can see just a few feet higher, just above that branch where the bark has exploded beneath. It's completely covered in suckers, and the suckers are dead. Everything above this point that we can't see in this photo is just dead. There's nothing going on. Meanwhile, at the Miracle Sisters, we're now looking about 50 to 60 feet up, and we just see beautiful, healthy bark, beautiful, healthy skin, beautiful green leaves. And here we are about 70 or 80 feet up, as high as I could get with my longest lens, and we still see beautiful, perfect skin, beautiful, perfect green growth. The orange to red growth that we see on the left is from the red oak with which the Miracle Sisters chestnut is sistered. Back at the roadside woodlot, we're looking at the other chestnut tree, which is much smaller and long ago completely succumbed to the blight, because as you can see, it's completely covered in mushrooms. This is not a living tree. It was attempting to sister with a sugar maple, 
but there was no cooperation going on there. Looking in comparison at the Warhol chestnut tree at my place, which is just a little bit larger, as you can see again, perfect health, no suckers, just beautiful. Looking higher up on this dead roadside tree, you can see it's just completely finished. Looking at the Warhol with its nice chain, we just see beautiful, perfect bark again. And up at the top of the tree in the distance, we see mainly green leaves with a few brown ones that are actually just from last year that haven't yet been pushed out. And here's a close-up of the very top of its growth. And you can see there aren't that many brown leaves, but they will be pushed out by the new growth very soon by those beautiful green leaves. And here's the chain trying to pull that Warhol tree a little straighter under the strain of that very tough American beach. In fact, I'm going to need to tighten that chain again soon. Here is the current state of that beauty from earlier in the video with its big rush to grow its leaves. This is only a little over a week later, but as you can see, those leaves are really growing fast and look at all that new growth. It's just beautiful. This is really healthy and really trying to grow fast. Maybe it wants to beat this one, which is the current record holder for the fastest growing chestnut. As you can see, it's trying to catch up, but it's not going to do it. This is the first of the wild planted chestnuts from last year that I discovered. And as you can see, it's doing really well. And here's the second wild planted chestnut, also doing very well. And of course, here's the third. And would you just feast your eyes on that incredible green color of the new leaves? It's just beautiful. I am so, so deeply gratified for the miracle that's happening here in my forest, courtesy of the Miracle Sisters Chestnut. I hope that she will continue to beat the odds and fight off the blight and produce more and more of her beautiful children to help to restore the American chestnut. Perhaps one day in many generations of chestnut trees from now, the blight will be completely defeated here in my sacred forest.